Alrighty, in our last video we talked about the equation of the median. And now we talk about the equation of the right bisector. Now the right bisector is a line that bisects another line segment. In this case it says the right bisector through BC. Now BC, these aren't exact, has this line segment let's say and you're going to draw a line through that line segment, a dashed line. And it's going to go through the middle, hence the phrase bisect. And it's going to go through at a 90 degree angle, hence the word right. That's what a right bisector is, a line through the middle at a right angle. And what equation does a line have, you might say? Y equals mx plus b. Now remember, these two points are not exact, so it's not 2, 6, 6, 10 here. This is just a random diagram. But, to that note, if this point is in the middle, right here, then what is it called? Well, it's called the midpoint of BC. How exciting is that? Now, if we want the equation of this line and we have a right angle, think this. 90 degrees means negative reciprocal or reciprocal. So, you always apply a negative reciprocal to the slope. So that's how we're going to get our line here. We need a slope and a y-intercept. So first things first, we're going to find the midpoint of BC. Then what we're going to do is we're going to find the slope of BC. And then we're going to take the negative reciprocal of BC. Now let's do this together as one. Now, the midpoint of BC is rather simple. You do 2 plus 6 over 2, and 6 plus 10 over 2, and you get a whopping 4, 8. Now, that, are the, that is the coordinates of the midpoint of BC. That's fantastic. And now, if you find the slope of BC... little m, oopsie, little m, how do you find that? You go 10 minus 6 over 6 minus 2, y2 minus y1, 10 minus 6 over 6 minus 2, and you happen to get 4 over 4, which is 1. Now, think about it this way. If that dashed line is 90 degrees, then the slope of this guy is the negative reciprocal of this guy. So, your M, let's just call it M, is going to be the negative reciprocal of this. What is the negative reciprocal of 1? Oh, you betcha, it's negative 1. Righty-o, so you have the slope now. And you have a point on your right bisector. Guess what you're going to do? You're going to find the y-intercept. 8 equals negative 1 times 4 plus b. All I've done is I've plugged it into y equals mx plus b. And what do you get? Negative 4 plus b equals 8. 8 is a whopping 12. And what's my equation? y equals negative 1x or negative x plus 12. And there it is. The equation of the right bisector. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.